Last weekend, I made the trip to Cardiff City Stadium to take in the first ever Judgment Day not played at the Principality Stadium. It was clear immediately something was very wrong. Right, I'm in the stadium making a long walk up. The parking was an absolute shit show. I shall be ranting about that on the pod. Um, Make sure you want to not come to Cardiff, to, to be honest, the parking situation. But anyway, I'm here now. Uh, and just trying to ascend. Look, there's absolutely no, no bugger about. It's just me. This is less than an hour before kickoff. It's half an hour before kickoff. There's the queue at the bar half an hour before kickoff. The decision to move Judgment Day away from its spiritual home at the Principality Stadium has been criticised since it was announced. The official attendance for the day was announced at being just over 20,000. According to Wikipedia, the capacity of Cardiff City Stadium is just over 33,000, meaning the stadium should have been just under two-thirds full. In the build-up to the game, reports started circulating that fan seats had been moved, suggesting the organisers were trying to make the stadium look more full than it was. At its peak, Judgment Day was capable of drawing well over 60,000 fans. Even last season, the attendance was up at 40,000, meaning that it had halved in just 12 months. The huge drop-off in attendances could be attributed to many things, whether it be the poor performance of the regions on the pitch, the bad marketing of the event ahead of time, or the general ill feeling towards regional rugby thanks to the budget cuts imposed by the WRU. Stadium now didn't record much during that second game. A lot going on. Check to James and Jamie in that. Uh, second game probably better than the first. Congrats to the Ospreys, I've got to say, for making the playoffs. Even though I predicted you would, you can check the tweets. Experience of Judgment Day not as good as it is in uh, Principality, where it's in City Centre Stadium. Oh well, Scarlet's one again. Uh, so take that and uh, speak to you all on the pod. Cheers.